Assalamu alaikum grade 10. How are you? Faiza Nadeem here with your English lessons. Kya kare aap log? I hope you are all studying because I ask this question from you in each and every of my lecture. What we will do today? We will do the second lesson of unit 11, Great Expectations and we are going to do question and answers. Let's move on to the board and let's start today's lesson. Alright, as you can see on the board, I have written the question and answers of unit 11, Great Expectation. Now, what is the key? Funda kya hai? Funda ye hai ki maine aapko sirf helping words diye hai. Answers aapne khud phrase out karne hai. Come on guys, you are in the senior most class of the school. You are going to end your school soon. So phrase your own answers out. Class 10 kar loge, first year, second year mein chale jaoge, practical life mein enter ho jaoge. At least answers to complete phrase out karne aate honge na? So let's start with the first question. What does the first question say? The first question is who looked after Pep after the death of his parents? We have done this. We have discussed it in the previous lecture that Pip was taken care of or Pip was being brought up by his sister. So the complete phrased out answer will be Pip's sister looked after Pip after the death of his parents. Okay, this is going to be the complete phrased out answer. This is the answer that is going to brag you two marks. Right? Write the complete phrased sentence. Question number two, who was Joe? How did he treat Pip? We already know that Joe was Pip's brother-in-law. But how are we going to phrase it out? Joe was the husband of Pip's sister. Despite the harsh attitude of his sister towards Pip, Joe was a kind and warm man. He was kind and warm-hearted towards Pip. He treated Pip with kindness and love and he took care of him as if Pip was his own son. Right? Everything is mentioned on the board. He was a kind and warm hearted man who took care of Pip with love and care and he brought Pip up in such a manner that Pip was his own son. He took care of him in such a manner as if Pip was his own son. I've given you the complete answer. I've given you the answer of question number one. I've given you the answer of question number two. Let's move on to the next board. All right. The question on the top says, why did Pip give food and drinks to the prisoner? It should be give. With did always come the first form of verb. Why did Pip Give food and drinks to the prisoner. Okay? Why Pip ne food or drinks the prisoner? Ko? We have already read and we have already comprehended that Pip was a kind and warm hearted boy. But how are you going to phrase it out in your sentence? Pip gave food and drinks to the prisoner because he found him in a difficult and miserable situation. Pip helped him simply out of sympathy. I'll repeat the answer. Pip gave the old prisoner some food and drink because he had found him in a miserable situation. Full stop. Pip helped him out of sympathy. Okay. Next question. What happened to the prisoner? Now this is a catch. Ye question do jaga pe, do different situations pe applicable hai. First, the prisoner went to Australia. Hai? What happened to the prisoner? The prisoner escaped from the police and went to Australia where he became a rich businessman. 
second as he came back to london to meet pip he was arrested by the police he was sentenced to death and he died in the prison theek hai to aapne first situation ko nahi likhna aapne second situation ko likhna hai ke as the prisoner came to visit pip in london he was arrested by the police and he was convicted and he was sentenced to death full stop he died in the prison before he was hanged next question don't write about australia wala theek hai next question why did the prisoner support pip why did he support pip we have already discussed it multiple times he never forgot pip's kindness and sympathy theek hai and since he was not a gentleman himself he wanted pip to become a gentleman because he saw himself in pip usko pip bahut pyara aur usko yun laga jaise wo uska apna bachpan hai so he wanted pip to become well educated and a gentleman so he wanted to give him money on so much money that he would become successful so he supported pip's education and brought up pip's life theek hai what happened to prisoner's wealth after his death we already know that as the prisoner died in the prison but since he was sentenced to death as per law of london at that time all his property was to be taken over by the government right do you know about someone who achieved success in life through hard work बहुत सारे लोग हैं हमारे इर्द गिर्द ढेर सारे लोग हैं बट लेट्स नॉट फुगेट द मोहसिन पाकिस्तान एंड हु इज द मोहसिन पाकिस्तान ऑब्वियसली डॉक्टर अब्दुल कदीर खान ठीक है यस आई नो समी हुज अचीव्ड सक्सेस आफ्टर अ लॉट ऑफ हार्ड वर्क हिज नेम इज डॉक्टर अब्दुल कदीर खान ही वॉज अ न्यूक्लियर साइंटिस्ट एंड ही टर्न पाकिस्तान इन टू अ न्यूक्लियर स्टेट right he belonged to a middle class family but he worked really hard to achieve success not for himself but for his country as well theek okay? hai you can write other examples as well but who better than dr abdul kadir khan that's why i have picked up the example of dr abdul kadir khan let's move on to the next board and let's see what is awaiting us on the next board box questions additional questions after the unit there is a recapitulation usually the questions from there the questions from past paper i have collected all of them and i have written the questions and their expected answers on the board you are responsible to note them down in your notebook and seriously learn them for your very expensive 10 marks theek hai Have you read any novel by Charles Dickens? कभी कोई नॉवल पढ़ा है चार्ल्स डिकेंस का किसी नॉवल के बारे में जानते हो मैं बताती हूँ ऑल एवर ट्विस्ट अ टेल ऑफ टू सिटीज एंड हार्ट टाइम्स आई हैव रिटन ऑल द थ्री नॉवल्स ऑन द बोर्ड इफ यू विल राइट ओनली वन नेम दैट इज गुड इनफ फॉर टू वर्क्स ठीक है अब ये आपको सिर्फ नाम स्टेट करने के लिए कह रहे हैं ये आपको रिकेपिचुलेट या समराइज करने के लिए नहीं कह रहे तो इसलिए आपने नॉवेल की स्टोरी इधर नहीं लिखनी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट काइंड ऑफ बॉय वाज पिप ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इट अ मल्टीपल टाइम्स ठीक है वी हैव डिस्कस्ड दैट ही वाज अ वेरी लवली चाइल्ड ही वाज अ वेरी लोनली ऑफन हु वाज बीइंग ब्रॉट अप बाय हिज हार्श स्ट्रिक्ट सिस्टर ठीक है ही वॉज अ काइंड हार्टेड बॉय वी नो दैट बिकॉज ही हेल्प अ प्रिजनर आउट ऑफ सिंपथी although he was treated harshly by his sister and he faced multiple problems in his life but he never gave up and kept on working hard in order to be a successful person next question what changed pip's life the prisoner ab what i want you to notice and what i want you to do is that even though prisoner is a common noun but here it is being referred to a specific person that's why we have written prisoner with capital letter capital p theek hai 
आपने जहां जहां ये प्रिजनर रेफर किया है रिगार्डिंग पिप एंड रिगार्डिंग पिप्स लाइफ यू आर गोइंग टू यूज कैपिटल पी स्मॉल पी नहीं लिखना मुझे भी पता है आपको भी पता है प्रिजनर कॉमन नाउन है इनफैक्ट इट्स अ न्यूट्रल नाउन ठीक है इट कैन बी बोथ अ वुमेन एंड अ मैन लेकिन आपने यहाँ पे उसको कैपिटल लेटर से लिखना है क्योंकि प्रिजनर रेफर कर रहा है एक स्पेसिफिक इंसान को ठीक है सो द प्रिजनर चेंज पिप्स लाइफ पिप गेव हिम फूड टू ईट एंड ड्रिंक्स टू ड्रिंक वेन ही वॉज इन अ वेरी मेजरेबल सिचुएशन एंड ही नेवर फोगॉट हिज kindness when he became rich he sent a lot of money for pip to study hard and become successful so he repaid his kindness with money in order to turn pip's life in order to make him a rich successful boy how did pip become a successful businessman pip became a successful businessman by working hard pip had learned the significance of hard work he had known how hard work can change your life so he became successful by working seriously hard right let's move on to last quote and let's see what we are going to do in the end today all right as my previous lecture in this lecture the graphic organizer is here in the previous lecture as well we have discussed the story map ab us story ka graphic organizer ki kis tarah se kaun se events hue aur kis tarah se in events ne pip ki life change ki although these questions really come in your exam but these questions basically develops this higher order thinking in your life so we must not only focus on exams but we focus on our grooming as well let's discuss this keep this in your mind that this question shall never come in the exam right so first event first event is that we get to know that the story is set in the 19th century 1800 and something in a village and pip is an orphan who is being taken care of by his sister right the second event what happens second second is pip meets a prisoner and gave him food and drinks so this was the second event that took place in the story in the first event we get to know the introduction of the story what happens in the third event what happens in the third event is pip is being sponsored still now he does not know who is sponsoring him to go and study in london there he meets a boy with whom he shares a flat all right and the third and the liner last event the final i was about to say final i said liner last and final the final event pip got to know that the prisoner helped him by providing money by providing money the prisoner was then rearrested he was sentenced to death he died in the prison and all his property went to government so the pip learned that he can only succeed with hard work which he did 
which he did all right the prisoner had already provided pip the base the support with the help of which pip could make his own life right with the provided support with the provided education with the provided manners he learned how to be successful how to be intelligent and how to work hard in order to earn something thus after the death of the prisoner when he could not have any money he worked seriously hard in order to be a successful businessman theek hai aaj ka lecture almost end hai kya kiya humne humne question answers kiye humne additional question answers kiye aur humne story ka graphic organizer kiya in the next lecture we will inshallah complete all the grammar topics of this unit and by that time i hope so that you have done everything side by side with me and you have completed the tasks that i have given bahut khayal rakhiyega padhte rahiyega inshallah we'll meet each other in the next lecture allah hafiz